Good morning, Sumner High School. This is your KSTV morning announcements coming to you live from room 36B. I'm Callie Flynn. And I am Philip Page. <laughs> the food bowl will continue through November 21st. Bring non-perishable food to your first period teacher. Uh, the food bank has requested canned meat, canned soup, uh, clean folded paper grocery bags, cup of noodles, single, serve, single serving bags of chips or crackers, uh, fruit drink pouches, deodorant, toothbrushes, toilet paper, and diapers. On November 20th, yearbook will be taking class pictures during second period. Be here and show up your class's numbers for the yearbook. Sumner's FFA annual wreath pre-sale will last through November 21st. Uh, the wreaths are $25 and can be purchased at the bookkeeper. Pickup begins on the 25th. And switch it over for Coley with today's random fact. Hey Sparks, for those of you that didn't know, it's Native American Heritage Month. So in honor of that, we'll be sharing some facts about the tribes closest to our school, such as this one. Did you know that there are 29 federally recognized tribes in the Washington state? That makes Washington state the fourth most in the U.S., with only Alaska, California, and Oklahoma having more. There are a total of 562 federally recognized tribes in the U.S. Back to you guys. Mm. Interesting. Very interesting. And today there will be an honor society meeting at 2.30 in the band room. Don't forget to pay your dues. Uh, make sure you park in your spot. You can report all violators to the front office and make sure you display your parking pass in a visible location. Spartan Scott Town auditions will be held in room 44C November 17th and 18th from 2.30 to 4.30. Audition signups and packets are available outside the choir room. If you have any questions, contact Ms. Miles. Uh, Latino Club will host a one-hour turbo kick tonight from 2.30 to 3.30. Uh, it's a dollar and it will take place in Gym B and uh, you can get some PE credits from it. The SHS Color Guard will be hosting a Color Guard camp November 18th from 5 to 6.30 in the band room. Upon completion of this camp, you will have the opportunity to perform with the band at basketball games and some upcoming holiday parades. More information is available in the band room. And we have an announcement on the Big Give. The Big Give is you, um, you donate $20 and it feeds a family of four a full Thanksgiving dinner. You can collect money and give it to the bookkeepers. Any money that you give to this event directly supports families who visit the food bank as they're the ones that get coupons to pick up Thanksgiving meals on Saturday, November 22nd. So you can count the totals of your food bowl totals or alliance if you have one. Yes, this means that you can even give 20 or more dollars to raise this week to put in the big give account. So make sure to do that. And we have one more announcement. Oh, two more. Two, two more, more announcements. announcements. There's a route of rest for Friday night's game at Bellevue, and it's ready to go. Please purchase your game ticket for Friday's game at the bookkeeper. Prices are $6 with ASB and $8 without ASB. Then come sign up for the route of bus at the main office to, and pick up the permission form. The bus leaves at 4.45 Friday afternoon. You will get your actual ticket for the game at the bus, and there's no charge for the bus, just the, pur just the purchase of the game ticket. And there's 40 spots available on the bus. Make sure to come cheer on your Spartans on Friday. And now we're going to switch it over to sports. Okay. Basketball tryouts will take place November 17th and 18th for all grades. Make sure you are cleared prior to playing. Okay. You can see Jamie in the main <laughs> And office from all of us at Case TV, I'm Callie Flynn. There will be a basketball parent meeting and November 25th. Make it a great day, Sparks. Freshman parent meeting <laughs> from is from six to seven, and the sophomores to seniors is seven thirty to nine p.m. Any SHS student interested in joining wrestling must see Coach Harshman in 59D for information on the season. The season will begin Monday. And a cross country announcement. If you see Abby Marcotte or Emma Scholen today, please congratulate them on a great individual, individual performances at the State Cross Country Meet in Pasco on Saturday. Abby finished in 20 minutes and 44 seconds, a personal record for her, and Emma also ran a personal best of 19 minutes, 21 seconds, good enough for 26th place and the fastest freshman time in all of 3A. Good job. Back to you. And from all of us at KSTV, I'm Callie Flynn. I'm Philip Page. Make it a great day, Sparks.